In this short video, we're going to talk about combustion blower controls. Now, the burning of gas results in the production of carbon dioxide and water vapor if the combustion is complete. To ensure that the products of combustion flow through the flue into the chimney and not out into the conditioned space, combustion blowers are used. A furnace's combustion blower does two jobs. First, it pre-purges the heat exchanger. It gets all unburnt um, combustible gases out of the heat exchanger prior to ignition. And then it also exhausts the flue gases. And it provides a flow of the products of combustion through the heat exchanger at an exact rate. The ignition control module must verify that the combustion blower is on and has established a steady draft before it signals the gas valve to provide gas to the burners. The device used to detect combustion blower operation might be a sales switch, might be an end switch, might be a pressure switch. A sales switch is a type of flow switch that uses a large paddle to catch a draft to open or close its contact. It looks just like a sail, it's aptly named. It can be manufactured as a single pole, single throw, or any other configuration. Sail switches are also called vein switches or airflow switches. This is the example of a sail switch. The sail part is mounted inside the where the inside the flue and it opens and closes based on the movement of air by the combustion blower motor. The end switch comes in a variety of forms, but in forced air furnaces, they're often connected to the end of a damper motor shaft. When the dampers open or turn to a certain angle, the end switch closes. This allows the end switch to send a signal to the ignition module to open the gas valve. This may also be used to signal the module to turn on the combustion blower. Some end switches are a type of mercury switch, similar to the old mercury thermostats. Pressure switches may also be used to conform the combustion blower motor operation. Since induced draft combustion pulls the products of combustion through the heat exchanger, it creates a negative pressure in the heat exchanger. A pressure switch uses a diaphragm that is sensitive to, to the differences in pressures to compare the pressure on each side of the combustion blower. Negative pressure pulls and positive pressure pushes the diaphragm to actuate the switch. This is an example of a um, pressure switch. The wiring, the control wiring is here. Okay, it's in series with the rest of the safety devices. And then there's a little um, vacuum hose that goes into the top of the combustion chamber. 